Okay, guys, don't get too excited. It's still a work in progress. This is the turtle van. It's so much cooler than the first one. I mean, it's a garbage truck, you know, like with the most decked out interior in the world. The truck was a no brainer for us. Let's give that truck an upgrade. Well, no time like the present. And we knew we wanted to give him some big and beefy that Donatello could really trick out with lots of fun stuff. We know that turtles move through the night stealthily because they're ninjas. We wanted them to fit in and go through New York at night and be there without anyone knowing them. We wanted to create a vehicle for the turtles that was as clandestine as it was suited for combat. We looked at New York and what happens at night, all the trash trucks come out. <laughs> never seen anything like it before. It's a garbage truck, but it's the turtle van. It's so cool to see this thing barreling down the freeway. The van walks that line so well between grounding this story in reality and in today, but then also letting the turtles be turtles and not forgetting the fact that we are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And so it is fun. It is wacky. It's a playpen. It's filled with buttons and dials and things you just want to press. You gotta get Mikey closer. <laughs> Yeah! It's got these weird tailpipes that are for nitrous. It's got a couch inside, multiple big screen TVs. We got games, we got a big soda machine. We're set up. So here we are inside the turtle van. This is like a 15 year old's dream. Okay, hit the button. What button? What button? There are a million buttons. Eric, the illustrator, sent me a piece of research, which was an old nuclear plant, where there was all these white lines drawn between the buttons to say what each button was. So I gave it to Martin Lang. And then Martin came in, and he went wild with his pen, started drawing on all the boards. If you look closely at the bins, everything is tied in. Well, as you see, like the chocolate sauce, what a teenager would do with his ice cream. Then they have a refrigerator. They, of course, have the Orange Crush machine because they love Orange Crush. That's Mikey's skateboard over there. Donatello made this video game here. And if you actually look at the top here, all the Master of Revenge scores, the best scores are all by Donatello, 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 until you get down to 10th place where Mikey is in place. Uh, the truck's front grate shoots out manhole covers, <laughs> which is pretty cool. The turtle van that we had as kids, the little toy, shot you know, pizzas out of its front grill. Pizzas aren't really practical for them to do combat with, but what if they're manhole covers? Kind of a hopped up Pez dispenser, if you will. We had a katana launcher that thwarts Shredder from being lifted up in a helicopter and then cuts the cable. Yeah. One of the things that ninjas are known for is their ability to fight and the weapons that they use. And the weapon that Mikey uses is the nunchucks. Mikey, clear our right flank. Nunchucks Giganticus! <laughs> what Donatello created is this virtual world where he's able to grab these handles and move them like nunchucks, and then these huge nunchucks grow out the side of the van and start clobbering the foot as he's going. So every movement, every single smash and grab and pow and bam that he does with one of these relates to a foot being smashed on the outside. Say hello to my little friend! The Ninja Turtles don't use traditional guns. This is a special net gun that fires a net out. It's all you, Mikey. Time to shine. They press the button, and they actually fire a net that tries to capture Shredder. Take the shot, Mikey! Yeah. It's a bunch of kids making do with what they find beneath Manhattan, and that perfectly encapsulates that spirit in that play. Everyone that comes inside it, even the crew themselves, just stop in, in awe and just go, wow, and just look at all the different elements that are inside there. You could live in this thing. I mean, it's incredible. The imagination is just, um, it's inspiring. It's an amazing thing to see. This is awesome!